Hi, hello, welcome to Home School. This is your class 10 mathematics and important questions in chapter arithmetic progression. If the pth term of an AP is Q and the qth term is P, prove that its nth term is P plus Q minus n. Understand the problem? It is very simple if you understand. We should remember general term formula of an AP that is a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. If you know that we can proceed this problem. If the p the term of an AP is q. What do you mean by this? Let's write the solution. Given, given in an AP, given in an AP, p the term is equal to q. P the term is equal to q. What it is? We know nth term, right? We know, we know in, in an arithmetic progression, nth term or a general term is a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. We know in an AP general term formula a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. Similarly, p the term, how can I write p the term AP is equal to q. And one more given, what it is q the term is p. Let me split this by using general term formula AP. Wherever you have n, you substitute p. A plus P minus 1 into D is equal to Q. Mark it first equation. Okay. What is your second point there? Q the term is P. That is A Q is equal to P. Q the term is P. By general term formula in AP, I can split this as A plus Wherever you have n, substitute q. q minus 1 into d is equal to p. Mark it second equation. Okay. Now, show that its nth term is. What we need to prove here? Prove that. Prove that nth term means a n is equal to P plus Q minus N, you need to prove. A N is equal to P plus Q minus N. How can I prove this? Let us solve these two equations. Let's go with the elimination method. Right? Solving. Solving equation 1 and 2. A plus P minus 1 into D is equal to Q. And second equation, A plus Q minus 1 into D is equal to P. Let's solve this. Subtract these two equations. A and minus A will be cancelled. And this one, as it is along with brackets, you need to take. In these two, D is common. So let me write here. P minus 1 minus q minus 1 into d is equal to q minus p. Children look here, most of the people will do mystic here itself. You directly write here p minus 1 minus q minus 1 without bracket. If there is no bracket, here it will be minus. If you proceed the problem with only minus, you cannot simplify. If with bracket if you take minus into minus will become plus, plus 1 minus 1 will be cancelled. So please keep a concentration here when you are subtracting two equations, carry bracket as it is. P minus 1 minus of Q minus 1. In these two D is common, so let us take out D common. Let's write the same thing here. P minus 1, remove from bracket, minus Q. Minus into minus, 
plus 1 into d into d is equal to q minus p. Minus 1 plus 1 will be cancelled. p minus q into d is equal to q minus p. Therefore, d is equal to q minus p by p minus q. When they have given p -th term q and q -th term p, they asked us to calculate nth term. To find nth term, I should know two terms. What are those? A, first term and common difference D. If I know A and D, I can calculate any term. Right? Now, I am finding D here. D is equal to Q minus P by P minus Q you got. Please don't stop here. Think for a while. How can I simplify this? It is not an end. This is not the D value. Further, you need to simplify Think over here. What can we do to simplify this? Look here carefully. Let me take out a negative sign common in the numerator. Plus Q becomes minus Q. And minus P becomes plus P. By P minus Q. Now what it is? P minus Q. P minus Q. Both of them. Or you may write one more step extra. P minus Q by P minus Q, P minus Q, P minus Q will be cancelled and your D value is minus 1. D value is how much? Minus 1. After getting D, this D value substitute in any one of the equation. Shall we substitute in first equation and find A? Substitute, substitute D is equal to minus 1 in Equation 1 that is a plus p minus 1 into d is equal to q. d value minus 1. a plus into minus minus. So if you want you can directly multiply 3 children plus p into minus 1 minus p plus into minus p it will be minus p. Minus into minus plus 1 into 1, 1, plus 1, right? Plus into plus, it will be plus 1 is equal to Q. But I need only A value. Remaining terms, you can send other side. A is equal to minus P if it comes other side, plus P, plus Q, minus 1. Now I got A and D value. Let us find nth term. Nth term formula. Let's carry our problem here. A n is equal to A plus n minus 1 into D. We need to find nth term, right? Substitute A value and D value. A n is equal to A value is P plus Q minus 1 plus n minus 1 into. What's your D value here? Minus 1 into minus 1 in brackets. You should keep children here. Minus 1, please take a brackets here. A n is equal to P plus Q minus 1. And these two multiply here. Plus n into minus 1 will be minus n. Minus into plus will be minus n. Minus into minus plus 1. Plus into plus will be plus 1. Now minus 1 plus 1 will be cancelled. A n is equal to P plus Q minus N. Look over there. Nth term is P plus Q minus N. You need to prove. Therefore, hence it is. Therefore, hence it is proved. If they ask you to prove, hence it is proved, you can write. So, understand the problem once again. P -th term is Q. Q -th term is P. Prove that Nth term is equal to P plus Q minus N. How did we prove here? P the term means A plus P minus 1 into D is equal to Q. Mark it first equation. And AQ, A plus Q minus 1 into D is equal to P. Mark it second equation. Solve these two equations. What are you going to get? A will be cancelled. And take out D common. And carry along with the bracket here. P minus 1 set minus Q minus 1 into D is equal to Q minus P. 
Now split that brackets here. P minus 1 minus Q plus 1. Minus 1 plus 1 will be cancelled. Yeah, left with P minus Q into D is equal to Q minus P. D is equal to Q minus P by P minus Q. Here you should remember, I need to cancel this. How can I cancel? Take out a minus sign common in the numerator. You are going to left with minus of P minus Q by P minus Q. Cancel D value is minus 1. This D value substitute in any one of the equation. You are going to get A value. After getting A and D, substitute in nth term formula. A and D value substitute, you are left with P plus Q minus N. That is only the thing we need to prove. Thank you. Thank you.